and welcome back to the sideboard here at Star City Games San Diego, and I am happy to be joined here by magic artist Lucas Graciano. Lucas, thank you for joining me. Yeah, sure thing. Happy to be here. Yeah, and you're uh, you're a relatively new magic artist. Yep. How long have you been doing magic? Uh, since M11. Okay. What was the first piece you did? Do you know? Uh, I did uh, Earth Servant and um, Nightwing Shade or Night Shade. Right. Something. I think it's Nightwing Shade. Um, and you've been doing it ever since, pretty regularly. They've even given you some somewhat big pieces, like tokens are yeah. very numerous. You got a zombie token sitting zombie right token. here. Uh, promo Grave Titan, Grave big Titan. one. Um, and you've, you've got some new stuff in Return to Ravnica, like Treasury Thrall, which we have right here in front of me. Um, what's what's your favorite piece that you've done for Magic? Uh, there's a few of them I like for specific things, but um, you know I, I, I like the Grave Titan came out pretty good, uh, the promo Grave Titan. Um, Nils Ham did the original one, which was great, yeah. and uh, it gave me a lot of inspiration for mine. Um, and it's kind of unfortunate his his he got credit for that that second one too. Right, that's an interesting one. story. So, you're you don't get credit for for your promo Grave Titan no. on the card. Right. N Nils Ham does. Nils Ham does. Yeah. Um, how did how did that happen? That's ask they Wizards, just they just I, forgot know, to replace the name. I or? imagine that's what happened. They swapped the art. And sure. the, you know, Jeremy says it doesn't happen often, but it does. And yeah, you know, it's no big deal. It, it, sure. it, you know, it's unfortunate it was that card. It was a good card, right. but you know, it, it is what it is. All right, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Introduce yourself to the folks at home. Tell them a little bit about yourself, where you're from, sure. where, you, where you got to school, mm -hmm. how you got into art, stuff like right. that. Uh, my name is Lucas Graciano, and uh, I was born in Southern California here. Uh, just north of San Diego. Um, I got my training at a small art school uh, called the Watts Atelier, uh, a classically trained art school. Um, a lot of figure painting and, and drawing, uh, a lot of traditional based stuff. Um, all my work is in oils and uh, it's, uh, I can attribute that to all the education I got at that school. Um, from there, I, I built a portfolio, and uh, I had talked to Jeremy a number of times, and uh, eventually he gave me a shot, uh, and been working on M11, since M11 on, um, and it's a lot of fun. I mean, I, I grew up painting dragons and knights, and, and uh, I think it was a perfect fit for me, Magic, to working on Magic, and uh, have a lot of fun doing it. Right, and now, you say you, uh, you, you're now teaching at that same school that you graduated from. Right. That's not, that's not your day job. No, no, I, I consider myself a freelance artist, and teaching is also a part-time thing. Um, it, it's, it's a way for me to kind of give back to a lot of the students and um, in and, and the school for, for what I had gotten out of it and uh, it's, it's also a way of continuing my education kind of like a, a, my PhD if you will right. in, in art. I've been there for about 11 years now and it's, it's a wonderful school, wonderful group of people. Uh, some of the other artists there are t uh, students that work on magic as well and uh, it's, it's just a, a really cool environment, great place to kind of you know build each other up. And Excellent. How did you, how did you get hooked up with Wizards of the Coast? Oh man, that's a good question. I, I uh, Was it originally with Magic, or was it one of their other games? Or? I don't remember if it was, uh, I did some work on D&D, &D and I've done a Forgotten Realms work. Um, I think Magic was the first first job I'd gotten with Wizards in particular. Um, Jeremy Cranford was, was my art director for uh, the World of Warcraft card games, and he was, early on, he was one of the directors for Magic, and, and, uh, and then Jeremy Jarvis took over when Jeremy left. Um, and Jeremy kind of introduced, Jeremy Cranford introduced me to Jeremy Jarvis uh, at Comic Con. And, uh, you know, I think it's where Jeremy first saw my work, but wasn't quite ready. Right. Started building my skills, and, and then uh, eventually Jeremy thought I was worthy and gave me a shot. And Cool. Uh, yeah. Now you've also done some work for Sony, is that correct? Yeah, Sony Online. Uh, they have their, their uh, Legends of Norath card game, and uh, that's been a lot of fun to work on. Uh, I've worked with Paizo, uh, relatively new. RPG company um, doing some of their Pathfinder covers. Uh, I've worked with uh, uh, small publishing companies. I mean, all sorts of different people. Really, Magic's one of them. Right now, they're they're definitely my main client. I'm not taking as much work. I'm I'm a, I'm a new dad at home, so I got to spend a lot of time at home with sure. my daughter and paint when I can. So that doesn't leave me a lot of time for work. But uh, Magic is definitely the most. Important. Now, uh, your style doesn't exactly say uh, uh, new dad. To me. There's a lot of spikes. Yeah. A lot of like, uh, you know, fading into the mist kind of that gross 
things that do this kind of things happening? Has that always been your styles to sort of hedge towards black cards and red cards? I think so. I think so. I was, I've always been into the darker fantasy. You know, I grew up watching movies like Dungeons and Dragons and you know, I love the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I mean, I like that more grounded uh, uh, fantasy. You know, right. Something where it's, it can be believable, something that could have existed. And uh, I think that's just kind of my, my natural... So we're not going to see you drawing many angels? I wouldn't mind doing an angel, uh, but, you know, I, I don't know. Jer Jeremy's when he sees my work, he sees skulls, dragon, or, you know, zombies, Sharp dragons. Things. Things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, uh, like Vexing Devil. Vexing Devil, another one yeah, that's, that's a popular one. Yeah. And so um, you, you're obviously working here in Return to Ravnica. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't seen everything in Return to Ravnica no. yet. But you're still working with Wizards of the Coast going forward. Don't give me any details, <laughs> but you're still working going forward so that you can get it. Go, go past your first page on the gatherer search. Yeah. You've only got one page right now. Do I? You okay. Gotta, you got to go to the second page soon. <laughs> you're getting there. You're getting there. You're getting close, but... Uh, you, you know, if, if, if they put up the promos and the tokens, I might actually be on page two. You know, that is a possibility. I hadn't considered that. I should look that up. You should. Yeah. But, uh, so, you, um, where can people find your work? Uh, my website, uh, www.lucasgraciano.com. Um, I have a blog also, uh, www.lucasgraciano.blogspot.com. Um, and that's, that's, those are pretty much where I put up most of my recent work. And you have a lot of original pieces for sale. I do, yeah. And your original pieces are different than a lot of people's original pieces because, as you said, you work in oils. Yeah, everything's oils. A lot of people work in computer, just just on the computer right. and not with with the uh, the old materials and right, the old materials. And so you've got uh, things like Treasury Thrall, you have uh, the zombie token. zombie token, you've also got Crippling Blight and Demon Lord of Ashmouth sitting over there. So you got lots of originals. Uh, if people want to, to buy them. Yes. All right. Yeah, there appreciate you go. that. We'll yeah, no problem. <laughs> so go, go check it out. Uh, and you can also just buy sketches. And, sketches, um, prints. Yeah, uh, artist prints and things like right. that. So lots of stuff available. All right. Any any other plugs you want to you wanna make? Uh, I think that's about it. All right, cool. Well, thank you so much for joining me in Cyborg and for coming out. And I uh, hope to see you again soon. All right. Thanks, man.